Well, we're in our third operational day of scuba diving, trying to find these two missing fishermen. Uh, we're hoping to bring this to conclusion as fast as possible. Today, again, we're targeting areas of highest probability based on the search dog and on our knowledge of river bottom topography, areas that have large rocks, structure that could uh, definitely entangle somebody. We're looking at maximum about six foot of visibility. Uh, we're dealing with river currents anywhere from two to three knots. Um, so one of our biggest hazards is, is we've got to be able to see what's coming. So as we're drifting down river, we got to have enough time to see an obstacle so we can avoid it. Temperatures in the water around 41 degrees. So after about 20, 25 minutes underwater, our divers are starting to get chilled, bring them up, warm up, warm up on the surface for a while, and then they can re-enter the water again. Our primary target right now has been about six miles, but it, really it's from where the survivor got out to somewhere downstream. We become, a, we become emotionally attached to the incident. I mean, our job is to bring us to a conclusion for the family. And you know we don't really feel feel we succeeded until the family can begin to move on and start the grieving process, and they can't begin that until their loved ones are brought back.